What you making? Maple syrup candy. I saw it. I saw it's it. exciting. I saw it. It snowed yesterday morning and this morning, and Grace filled up a bowl of snow so we can make it like Mary and Laura in Little House in the Big Woods. Okay, you ready for our first try? We might not have enough snow. It melts it so quick. Well, let's let it cool down a little more because that's not going to work. Okay, so our first try wasn't successful, but we have really delicious snow cream. <laughs> yeah. Yuck! What do you mean yuck? Try it. I hate, I don't want to like maple syrup. <laughs> what do you think? Uh -huh. Well, even if we failed at candy, at least we succeeded at something delicious. Maple. We're jumping in the car again to go to town. It's kind of hard to be a homesteader when you're never at home. you're having a home birth the midwife comes to your house for your prenatals which is awesome we actually meet the midwife in Asheville because we live so far away from her and just kind of makes it easier for everyone so here we are at grandma and grandpa's it hatched out too early it's got what is it? Whoa. hey Arthur it was under the bed in a it's not touching cocoon uh, I put I put a cocoon probably on my dresser and forgot about it. And it probably hatched out. Whoa. No, it's not. I just touched it so that Look I Look at how beautiful out. that is. Do you know what kind it is? I haven't looked it up yet. I've just been real busy. Wow, it's so pretty. What do you yeah. think, guys? Look it up. Can you put your shoes neatly by the door? I'll look it up. It's pretty distinctive. Oh. Small for lunch. Yeah. Do you not want your belly in it? Oh, I don't care. I posted an Instagram thing yesterday of my whole, all my stretch marks. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's head down still. You don't? Yeah, mm -hmm. he was a little head up last time. Just because he's all over the place, but maybe I'm wrong. He's a wiggle worm. He's a wiggle worm moving all over. Another wiggle Does worm. Another wiggle worm. Yeah. Like right. You okay in your back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, just no. let me know. Your oh, hands feel so nice. Nice and cold. No, I think it's a head. Really? Well, yep. right. Joyful. That was Joyful. the issue with Joy was so much water that she could flip all around. <laughs> and that's why she was a C-section. Mm. Well, just tell this one that it's stay head down. Yeah. But there is plenty of there's a lot of water in there. Um baby's kind of back is like way down over there right now. Mm -hmm. I can hear her. Did you get What's the one? question? I'm gonna get one. Yeah. <laughs> 36. Oh, I didn't need to say that out loud. Oh, I don't mind. Well, well we all like to like, what did you get? Oh, because you're okay. learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the stuff we're gonna be glad we filmed. Yes. You In 20 years. Thing? Are you listening to the baby? Do you hear anything? Do you hear your heartbeat? <laughs> so Where's the heartbeat? Right there? <laughs> you gonna hear your baby brother? What's, is that still a placenta? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like a different sound. It's totally different. Right, and got your thing. Do you want to hear a Our midwife sent us home with one of these so Art could try and hear her baby's heartbeat. Just for fun. Just for fun. She uses one of these each time and then she also uses the electronic one. I've never used one before so I'm pretty excited. Yep. But she can hear it. She hears it every time. We had a great visit 
everything checked out great. Um, it's interesting, probably some of you are wondering like how different these um, midwife appointments are versus maybe like a doctor's appointment. And really, because I've done both, they're exactly the same. You pee in a cup, they check your blood, they ask you questions, they see if you have any questions, they listen to the baby heart, baby's heartbeat, they feel the size of the baby, they measure the size of your uterus, and that's that. So to me, these appointments are exactly the same, but they're in the comfort of your own home or <laughs> grandma and grandpa's home if you live really far away from the midwife. <laughs> Try to get me. Try to get you. <laughs> hey, guess what time it is? What? Time to go to dance class. Do it. Do frozen. Okay, we gotta load up in the car now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Come in. All right. Good boys. Get out. Let's go. Look. Uh, that's chocolate chip. Yeah, you can do that one. Something else we're really excited about coming up soon is the Great American Farm Tour premiere. This is Justin and Rebecca Rhodes film about them traveling the whole country, going to farms in every state. And Brianna keeps saying, I hope we can go, I hope we can go, I hope we can go, because the movie premiere is just right around the same time as we're gonna have a baby, which is funny. So if we've had the baby, we may not be able to be there, but we will be there otherwise. Uh, the premiere is April 14th. Um, it, I think it will sell out, I'm not sure. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. We are going, super excited, and just shouting this out because it's not just the film we're excited about. Honestly, it's, it's seeing this project kind of come to a close for our friends, Justin and Rebecca, and supporting them in this huge endeavor that they took on for all of us to show us all this stuff that honestly we would have never have seen if it weren't for them traveling the country and doing that work. So hopefully we'll see some of you all there um, next month. Hopefully we'll be there next month. We will be there if we can be there. Look at this, our um, maple syrup overflowed while we were gone and then it's gotten so cold tonight that it froze. So we have maple syrup icicles. Our sap is full and frozen. It's about 20 degrees and very windy outside. We are going to go put our kids to bed. Oh, they're getting the syrup, the maple sap. Well Gracie, go grab a bucket. You need to help daddy. See you in the next video.